this should help you remember everything. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Everything you know is wrong. Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. He doesn't need his own weapons. He's got ours. They'll always need men like us. Our greatest barrier is our own fear. Our own doubts. Hello everyone and welcome, I'm MassaMitch21 and what you guys just saw was the new released video of the 2015 Call of Duty Black Ops 3. This is Treyarch confirming with a little teaser trailer um, what the next Call of Duty will be released in November which is going to be Black Ops 3 and as you guys are looking right now there is a picture of um, the release date it shows or the world reveal actually it's the 4 26 15 and what that means exactly is that that is the day that they're going to release the official trailer more than likely or at least the box title um, to the Call of Duty um, Black Ops 3 so that so basically the trailer was just a little um, teaser more than anything but it is definitely classifying the next Call of Duty as Black Ops 3 which is absolutely insane let me know what you guys think if you guys actually are looking forward to Black Ops 3 if you were hoping for something else uh, what all you guys want to see in the game uh, what time zone where it's gonna be based uh, basically let me know whatever you guys think and another thing to cover the voices we are hearing in this trailer um, are actually several different voices from previous Call of Duty um, Black Ops series vi uh, video games for instance um, the first, I believe the first two quotes are direct quotes from Mason in the first Call of uh, Duty Black Ops, whereas the next few are Black Ops 2. And there's some speculation on why the last one is from Black Ops 3, because people are not exactly sure what where that quote came from. However, it is estimated it might be a Black Ops 3 quote from the game whenever we get to see it. We'll find out later. But another thing to look at is... Uh, this image right here shows the three, the symbolic three for Black Ops 3 in the background with the orange flames kind of behind it. And it also shows a guy sitting there with two pistols in his hands. And it is absolutely insane. He's got this really neat looking helmet on with this uh, glass covering his eyes. And it just looks so cool. It's so similar to the previous Black Ops we've seen um, and the box video um, case cover. And that's exactly what they look like, just different character, obviously. And two more things to look at real quickly. Um, this image right here was released on the Call of Duty uh, Treyarch's Snapchat. And this one actually is a um, kind of like a sky view. And it actually shows a short video clip, which I was not able to get a hold of, unfortunately. But in the clip, it shows this picture exactly with a little bitty shed slash house underneath it. And it shows that and about... Two seconds later, it shows what looks like to be like a missile falling, um, and it turns out it must be some sort of nuke. And this right here is the next picture, and this shows the aftermath of the nuke. And basically, that's um, I don't I don't know exactly what that is, but it is symbolic because it could be relating to the campaign um, where there may be some radioactivity going on. A nuke goes off, and it's causing some sort of chaos, and that may be where the setting. Um, it relates to the Black Ops 3 campaign, or it also may be a little teaser about maybe some multiplayer, maybe they're bringing the nuke back, which they had in Modern Warfare 2 was when it was first released, and um, that would just be some other really cool things, but there's a lot to consider, there's a lot that's been released and a lot going on, and I'm keeping you guys informed as much as I am able to find out about these things, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see, though, I'm really excited about all this stuff, actually, I'm I'm so thrilled to have a Black Ops 3. The Black Ops series was probably one of my favorites. And um, definitely, probably, Black Ops 2 would be my number one Call of Duty. Um, really close to Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. Just all really good Call of Duties, though. And if you guys are excited for this, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. And uh, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.